What up, y'all? It's your boy Chance, and I actually have a message and something that I really feel needs to be spoken upon. Mm, sorry about that, guys. Hey, Brandy, hey, Rick. But um, this is something I feel that, you know, not only my teammate Starboy Ricardo, who is also literally my, practically my brother. Uh, so shout out to you, Rick. A.K.A. Yes, K-9. Uh, shout out to Ethan and L, A.K.A. Yes, Tommy. Um, and also shout out to Devin, who isn't a member of ES, but is a fellow driver like myself. Um, this is something that I've noticed a lot of, and this is something that I, I feel like I speak for all drivers like myself when I speak upon what I'm about to speak upon, which is... All you fucking modders out there. Like, it's one thing to modify a game like, like, you know, like R Factor and stuff to make the game like to where you can actually do like drift runs, shit like that. That's fine. But to modify a game like Need for Speed Underground 2, Need for Speed Most Wanted, Underground 1, or any Need for Speed game in general, or any racing game for console in general, on a PC, just to set a record that you didn't work hard to earn. You guys make real drivers like myself and the members of my team and my friends. You make us look bad. Okay? Ask anybody on here. They can tell you the same damn thing that I'm telling you now. We've bust our asses to set the records that we set. We've bust our asses practicing every day and night. And I can tell you for a fact, I have set several records on not only Need for Speed Underground 2, but on Need for Speed Carbon, Pro Street. I've broken and set a lot of records that most people can't beat because I practice. Because I put my hard work and hard effort into what I do. That's what makes me a good driver. That's what makes my fellow teammates that I've been with all these years great drivers. Because we practice every fucking day. Like I was just in my room just a few minutes ago. You know just brushing up on some older games like Need for Speed Underground 1. You know I was sitting there. You know, upgrading all my cars and stuff like that. And I kept on seeing this one dude. Just this one dude, he kept sticking out on a lot of his shit. He kept on saying, like, oh, this is the most unbeatable record, and it's still unbeat to this day. Well, the reason why is, motherfucker, is because you're a modder. You modified the game on a PC to make the car go faster than what it should and any real driver can tell you this the fastest car on need for speed underground can do about anywhere is around 240 to 250 tops depending on what you have it set at but there is no way that you can set a car to do over 300 miles an hour it is not possible Like, I record all my runs through my computer. I might not have the best quality, but I film that shit for these people to see. And, you know, I really feel like you guys are giving, those of us who really do practice at what we do, you're giving us a bad name. And ruining our reputation, not only as teams, but as, you know, gamers and drivers in general. You're making us look bad by 
setting records that you didn't work hard to earn, that you don't deserve, and that you just basically rightfully take and say, oh, I set the record, so I own this record. And there's nobody on earth that can stop it. Well, if that were true, why don't you put down your fucking keyboard and step up to a console and we'll settle it on the track? Because I guarantee you, ask anybody here, I can beat most drivers with my eyes fucking closed. I'm literally one of the world's fastest drivers for the Need for Speed series. You can ask anybody. You look me up. You type in Need for Speed Underground 2 World Drift Record underneath the name DK Customs or underneath my name. That's literally one of the first videos that pops up. I'm sick to death and tired of seeing, you know, real drivers who practice like I do having their names ruined and their reputations destroyed because of modders who feel like they can just cheat their way into setting a record that they didn't clearly earn. There's a reason I'm called a Drift King. There's a reason that I'm one of the fastest drivers in the Need for Speed series. It's because I've practiced. Hey, Eugene, what's up, buddy? And hey, it's all good, man. Hold on, guys. Give me one minute. I have to take this call. It's probably something important. If not, I'll get right back to you. But post in the comments what you guys, what your thoughts are while I take this call. Sorry about that, guys. Wrong number. Sorry about that, guys. Had a wrong number call in. It was for this Blue Cross Blue Shield crap that we don't need, and they're looking for somebody. But, you know, I guess what I'm getting at is that you know, there are people like me who have trained and practiced, you know, for a lot of years to gain the reputation that we gain in the racing and gaming community as drivers and as gamers. Like, we've worked really hard to gain these reputations to get where we're at by working hard, by putting in effort. I didn't instantly become good overnight. I had to practice at it. I had to watch videos on, you know, how to do stuff. I had to learn on my own how to do things. But for you guys to come along, do you really think that's fair for you guys that modify these games on a PC trying to set a record? I mean, don't you think that makes you look bad? Like, think about it. Put yourself in our position. Let's say you practice a lot of years. You put in hard work every single day. You practice, you train, you put in all that time and effort. And then some dude on a PC who modifies the game just for their own selfish gain, just to try to set a record. And they take that away from you. Wouldn't you be pissed off about that too? Because you know this morning. I actually beat. The record for the marathon track. Twice in a row. The time was. Three minutes and nine seconds for the track I beat it on the first run with a time of three minutes and five seconds and then once again with three minutes and one second 
And that's because I've practiced. I've practiced really hard at that track. I got good. I learned the corners. I learned the course. I learned what car works best on that track. Exactly, dude. My point exactly, Rick. Like, you have a damn good point there, man. And, it's, and you're completely right, man. Like, these modders, man, they're, they're stupid and they're rapidly gaining, you know, all this fake, you know, fame and this, you know, like, and it, it's stupid. Like, it really is stupid, man. And I want you guys to think about it like this. For drivers like us who practice, you know, I know it's from a gaming standpoint. I know I really shouldn't be comparing these two. But for people like us who practice every day to get as good as we are, for you guys to take that away from us is like, you know, Claiming a fake record that you didn't earn is like somebody who's not in the military claiming that they were in the military. Like, I know they're two different things, but it's the same basis. Like, you have people in the military who, you know, give up everything. Who served their country well. And then people who are fake claiming that they're in or were in the military and buying all this fake shit and doing all this stuff just to ruin the reputation or just to make themselves look good. That's pretty much what you modders on a PC are basically doing. You're basically taking a title that not only I myself and my teammates, but other people I've worked hard for over the years. You're basically taking stuff that we worked hard to do. You're taking our reputations and ruining it by doing this. Yeah, that's very true, man. That's very true. But, you know, I think I speak for every driver and every gamer out there when I say that this modding shit that y'all are doing, it needs to stop. You know, you can ask my brother Ricardo, man. This man has watched me since day one, since I joined the team four or five years ago. He's watched me grow not only as a person, but as a driver. He's seen my ups. He's seen my downs. This man knows I've put in the hard work to gain the reputation and the title that I own and the title that I rightfully earned. So for you modders out there, y'all best be watching your backs because there are people out there like me who in reality are just as fast or faster than you. Because one thing I've learned through my years of doing professional racing style gaming is that there's always somebody out there that's going to be just a little bit faster than you. And like my boy Ricardo just said, you know, go ahead, gain your, you know, gain all the fame you want because you know something? In the end, it's fake motherfuckers like you that fall really hard to real drivers like me when we call your asses out in front of an entire crowd and shut your asses down. So you want a real driver? Bring it, bitches. I'm here. I'm ready. If you can't step up to a console and drive the right way and practice and gain the momentum that way, you don't deserve to be called a driver. 
So you want a real driver? <laughs> Guess what? You're looking at one. I started from the age of 16. I got my very first racing game, which is Need for Speed Underground 2, which I still have that same disc. That's where it all started for me, was Need for Speed Underground 2. That was the first street racing game I ever got at the age of 16. And from then on, I practiced every day. As much as I could, I practiced my ass off day and night just to get to where I'm at now. It didn't just come overnight. I had to put in hard work. There were nights where, like on the weekends, where I didn't hardly sleep because I was practicing, I was training, I was getting good. Yo, Jeremy, what's good, buddy? So, next time you guys go to modify a game on a PC, I want you guys to think about that. Think about the reputations that you're ruining. Think about the real drivers who put in the hard work. And before you go to mod another game again like that, just to gain a record, I want you to put down that keyboard, put down that mouse, pick up a controller or whatever console you have, and practice. That's all it takes is practice. Like I said, I didn't get good overnight. I had to work at it. Hell, to be honest with you, at first I was that kid who would run into damn near everything that was me at 16 I was running into pretty much every corner pretty much every obstacle or barrier you could hit in the game that was me I was that kid but look at me now I'm one of the fastest drivers in the Need for Speed series on the planet And the reason why I'm one of the best drivers in the world is because I practiced, I trained, I worked my ass off. Yeah, I might not have that many views from setting these records, but you know what? I don't give a fuck about the views. I can give less of a shit about the views for the records. Because you want to know something? Ask any driver in the world about any of my records and who I'm connected to. They can tell you who I'm connected to. Look me up. All you got to do is type in my first and last name on Google. Everything about me comes up. Everything from my music to my driving records, boy. I earned my spot. Why can't y'all do the same in practice? Like I said, I think I speak for every driver and every gamer in general when I say that we're sick and tired of you modders ruining our reputations as gamers and as drivers in the racing set. For the racing scene of gaming, you guys are making us look bad. You really are. And I think I speak for us all when I say enough is enough. Honestly, for those of you that are modding games that are meant for console and you're doing it to set a record, honestly... You guys deserve to have your channels banned. You guys deserve to have your channels shut down. Because you're making real people like us look bad. Yeah, I know to you guys it might be just another fun game and blah, blah, blah. Well, to us, it's a community. 
It's a way of life. It's where we feel at home. Because let me tell you something. When I found my brothers, Ethan and Ricardo, four or five years ago, and I found that there was a vast community built just around racing style gaming and all these different styles of racing. That's when I found my home because I finally found something that I'm good at that I can actually take to a high standard level. But as I said, it's moderators like you guys or modifiers, not moderators, my bad. But, you know, it's modders like you guys that ruin the community and the love of the sport. And really, you're not being fair to anyone when you do that. And you sure as hell ain't being fair to yourself. You're cheating yourself out of a record that you could just practice and earn. And that's the one thing I don't understand is why you guys feel the need to sit down and modify a game just to set a record when you can practice and get good and be truly good. Because at the end of the day, when somebody asks you what car you used, what your control setup is, you're not going to know what to say. They're going to ask you what console, you know, what, you know, car you used, what setup you used. And you're not going to hardly be able to answer it. You're going to look like a freaking fool in front of the entire world. And why? Because you didn't practice. I could go on to Need for Speed Underground 2 right now and tell you my fastest car. Hell, I could tell you without it. Without even going in there. And one of my fastest cars at this point right now is the Lexus IS300. Or IS500. I forget which one it is. But, you know, I can push that car to 240. Easily. And that's because I practiced. I learned how to take the corners. I learned how to brake. I learned how to accelerate. You know when I need to. I learned how to push my car's limits. That's why I said. Before you go to modify another game again. I want you to think about that. Think about the community. That you're ruining. That you're giving a bad name to. You know. Think about guys like Slap Train. Who do YouTube videos. And racing. On that professional level for a living. You're making guys like him. Look bad. You're making people like myself. And my teammates of Extreme Speeds. Which is Ethan and Ricardo. You're making us look bad. You're making my friend Devin look bad. You're making a lot of people look bad as well as yourself. So before you make yourself look bad like that again, I want you guys to think about that. Think about what you're doing to yourself and not only how you're cheating yourself out of true potential, but what you're cheating these other people out of. You know, and how unfair you're being to them. I want you to think about that next time you go to do that. And both that being said, um, I want to thank everybody for stopping by to watch this live stream. Shout out to every motherfucking body that watched, especially my brother Starboy Ricardo, man. Shout out to you, man. Straight up utmost respect and shout out to you bro um if you guys are wondering i will be live on my retro gamer youtube channel um if you don't have the channel let me know and i will send it to you so you guys can subscribe 
Uh, I will be live doing some Need for Speed Underground gaming here in just a little bit. Because I figured, you know, why not take it back a few generations to where it all really started for the Underground series. Stuff like that. Kind of showcase my cars, what I've got on there. You know, what I can do. All that good stuff. So if you haven't subbed to my channel yet, let me know and I will send you guys the link right after this. Um, but with that being said, guys, thank you all. Love y'all. This has been your boy Chance, and I will see you guys later, man. Peace.